welcome in the next member of our broadcast crew, Alexa Dat, with Mookie Wilson right now. This interview brought to you by City. Thank you, Scott. Mookie, it's good to see you down here in sunny Florida. What brings you to Port St. Lucie? Well, I'm down here doing a little work with my leaguers and just um, taking a look at to see uh, what kind of players they have that I'm going to be visiting this summer. And when you saw Curtis Granderson with that leadoff triple, <laughs> what did you see out of him and especially last season off that leadoff spot and how successful and consistent he was able to be? Well, I think the most impressive thing was that he did it off the left-hand pitching. And uh, I think we're going to need him to do those kind of things. Um, he's not as fast as he used to be, but he still has a very good bat. So um, he gets his pitch. He's going to be able to handle that. How about Cespedes in center field with that inside the park home run? What happened there? Well, I think that's just one of those things where you, you're looking for the umpire to, you know, to, to make a call, and the umpire just went against his judgment. So um, it's one of those things that can happen in spring training, but um, you live and learn. How about overall with him in center field? How do you think he's performing, and how do you think he'll be doing this season? Well, I haven't seen him this spring. It's my first game seeing him here, but I think he's going to be fine. Um, he has the speed, and he has the arm to do those things. It's just a matter of positioning, and I think that you have coaches that's going to help him do that. With Juan Lagares, a traditional center fielder, moving over to left, he's seen some time in left this spring. Terry saying he might get some of that playing time during the regular season. What's it like moving from that position? Well, that's not going to be difficult because um, through my leagues, um, Lagares has been able to play right, center, and left. So he's quite accustomed to it, and he's a good enough athlete, so he's not going to be an issue. Is there anything that it, it, you know you're worried about in that situation? Uh, no, I and mean, then sometimes you may forget that he's playing left field as opposed to center, and that's just a, a matter of communication between the center field and left field. Okay, and I know this is the 30th anniversary of the 86 championship team. I know they're going to have an awesome celebration on, at City Field during Memorial Day weekend, especially on May 28th. I know you're going to be there. What's this year going to be like for you? It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a, a year of just reminders and, and, and going back into time and just rehashing old memories and old lies. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you like rehashing those memories? Of course. Everything gets bigger. The home runs get longer. <laughs> the most stolen base, everything increases. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, thanks. Scott, back up to you.